my kids aren't in school with masks on. Obviously, here at the first, they're not threatening my job because I don't want to take a vaccine. They let me come say whatever I want every day. You know, I get to say whatever I want on the radio every day. No one's making me take anything. That's been my story. Now, yeah, I can sit back and look and, and be mad about what's happening to other people. But personally, the past two years, I've been fine. Maybe that's your situation. And I don't know, maybe I'm having some survivor's guilt. Maybe that's what this is. But as I watched those firefighters, it honestly, it occurred to me, this past two years has been a disaster for so many people, and it's just not right. Firefighters across the United States of America, especially in these big blue urban hell holes, have watched their jobs go away. Friends they rely on to save lives get fired because they didn't want to take something. Healthcare workers, you know, we forget about this. I have several people in my family who are in this situation. Joe Biden essentially fired every unvaccinated healthcare worker in America. And of course, the Supreme Court, thanks to that loser, Brett Kavanaugh, upheld the decision. Healthcare workers, they showed up to work. Imagine this, showing up to work. Maybe this is your situation. Every single day to save lives through the COVID-19 insanity, only to be told two years later, take the jab or get, get out. How unjust, how not right it is. The people who have done this to us, they need to be punished. And I, I need to be really clear about this. Those who were maybe fooled in the beginning, but came around and stuff like that, I'm not talking about those. The people, the bureaucrats and government officials who have pushed this insanity on our society, who have crushed so many lives, there needs to be some form of accounting. I don't know whether that's hearings, trials, or what, it's not good enough as a society to simply look around and say, oh, I just hope it all goes away. I just want to forget about it. There must be an accounting for what has been done in this society. Look at these people. These are the counter protesters to the COVID-19 mandates. Look at the mental health crisis we have going on in this country. I love Fauci! We love Fauci! I love Fauci! I love Fauci! I love Fauci! Okay, she seems nice. Probably a big winner on the dating scene. You know who else is, I'm sure, very, very pleasant to live around and be around is this lady losing her mind about masks in the grocery store. As soon as those kids open, they're not hungry. I hope they can breathe. Wouldn't want to bring anything down, super spreaders. I bet you voted for Trump, didn't you? Woo! Truckers! Yeah, they don't wear masks. We don't cover noses. Woo! Hey, let's do this. My name's Karen. Woo! They won't wear masks. Look at her. I'm not on the island. Woo! Let's bring this air. Let's go kill some children. Woo! Word is that there's a 56-year-old man in Massachusetts who had hot coffee tossed on him by a 23-year-old in a coffee shop for not wearing a mask as well. Look, I, I, I could make the whole show videos like this, and honestly, I'm mostly tempted to just make fun of those crazy women, but let's, let's talk about the state of our nation here. I know I'm not talking about you in particular, but let's, let's just talk about this. Are we okay? Are we strong enough to continue on? Look at what it's done to us. Look at what it's done to so many people. And I know this doesn't apply to you personally, so it's hard to really feel it, but how many people in this society have just simply completely lost their minds? And why, in our society in particular, were people so susceptible to losing their minds? I, I, I'm really sorry to say this, 
it appears that even other European nations, who you'd think would be behind us on the whole freedom thing, they're doing better. Freaking England! England has come out and said, well, I mean, hey, let's be honest, natural immunity is better. We're not saying that here. We're still pushing insanity. And I'm about to play you a little clip of Dr. Fauci, of course, calling for another booster and whatnot. And yeah, I can despise Dr. Fauci, and he's one of the ones who should be put on trial. There's no question about it. But I want to know more than... Do okay, Dr. Fauci's an evil, power-hungry little troll. We all get that. Why did the nation listen? Why were so many people anxious to listen? Why did people hear this man and go along with the panic? You were going to see breakthrough infections, as we've seen now, even in boosted people. But for the very most part, they're mild or even asymptomatic. That's where we would like to be, is to have that where you don't have to get more and more always every six months with a booster. We may need to boost again. That's entirely conceivable. We? I don't know who you're talking to, doctor. I'm several shots behind by this point in time. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.